Well, hello people and welcome back to our channel RJ Automobile, a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every part of an automobile. So in order to that, today we are going to discuss about very interesting topic, IV Tech or ID Tech. You might have seen on the back of the Honda cars, IV Tech or ID Tech. So what is the IV Tech? Or ID Tech. So if you want to learn about the IV Tech engine, so keep watching our video till the very last second. So guys, our today's topic is IV Tech or ID Tech. So IV Tech stands for Intelligent Variable Wall Timing and Lift Electronic Control System. Intelligent means ability to work by itself, as the name suggests and basic electronic control system the electronic control system because the the walls of the system are controlled by the ecu means electronic control unit in order to learn about the iv tech system we have to first learn about the conventional system of wall opening and closing here we have two rocker arms with two cam and two wall first one is for the opening wall and second one is for the closing wall due to the movement of cam the rocker arm can move upward and downward hence the wall opening and closing takes place so same here the IV tech or IT tech engine is a inversion of that system here also we use the two rocker arms and two inlet and outlet walls same two cams which is called idle or low rpm cam but in the IV tech system we use an additional rocker arm which is shown here by the pink color and uh, for this rocker arm we use a high rpm loaded cam which is large in a size than the conventional cams so assume it guys if this idle and low rpm cams are rotated at that time rocker arms down means goes downward or upward so because of the small size of this cams the rocker arm goes downward but less compared to the this rocker arm which is used for the IV tech here high rpm and loaded high rpm loaded cam is used which is larger as compared to the conventional or idle low rpm cam if this cam rotate means uh, the larger cam ro uh, rotate at that time this rocker is goes more downward like this than the other conventional rocker arm here we use the synchronizer locking pin which is used for the engagement of all three rocker arms so this one is the condition of the not activation of the IV tech means at that time the synchronizer pin is situated outside of the rocker arm you can have a look at this diagram means when this cams are rotated at that time this condition is achieved but when the IV tag is activated at that time this synchronizer locking pin is entered in inside the three rocker arm like this means three rocker arms can move together means same down or up so this is the condition of active VTAC this at that time this conventional cams are not in use and uh, this high rpm loaded IVTAC cam is used for the engine control system so at this time because of the high rpm loaded cam this rocker arms are going downward 
more than the conventional and at that time high amount of the air fuel mixture can enter into the engine cylinder because walls are open more than the conventional and when the high amount of the air fuel mixture is entered into the cylinder means high power is generated means high combustion rate and due to that pist uh, high piston movement and uh, high cranking because of that more engine power is developed so this is the iVTEC engine of Honda this one is uh, adopted by the Honda for, uh, first so guys here IVTEC or IDTEC what is IVTEC or IDTEC actually it is the petrol form means the gasoline form of, of the Honda which is known by the IVTEC and IDTEC is a diesel form of Honda cars so guys this is the IVTEC or IDTEC engine so thanks for watching guys our video of IVTEC if you like this video please give us a big fat thumbs up and if you want to learn more about the IV tag or ID tag, then you can ask in our the comment box. I will definitely reply that comment. And if you don't want to miss a single video of our channel, then please subscribe below. Okay, bye bye. I will see you on the next week.